Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel today. I've got Sweetheart Polish. I know you're not thirsty, and I'm going to stamp some flowers on it. I started off with Neltix Formula 2 and Sweetheart Polish. I know you're not thirsty. And this was one I picked up from the Polish Pickup back in March. It's beautiful blue polish with just like glittery, flaky goodness in it. It's, it's just such a... Mm. Okay, I'm in love. Let's just put it that way. I've kind of been hooked on blue polishes here lately. I'm just drawn to them. I don't know if it's because it's getting warm and, you know, just reminds me of summer. I don't know. But there we go. We're getting a little sloppy here. We're going to cap the tip on that. There we go. We have to clean that mess up. Dun da da dun. Woody enters the room. And here we go. We're going to go in with the second coat of. I know you're not thirsty. And it's got a really good formula. Um, I didn't have any trouble with it really pooling. I mean, I do get messy. That's just, but that's just getting all carried away and probably being jittery all on caffeine and stuff, you know, but um, it didn't like just run down the sides into my cuticles and sidewalls and stuff. I'm going to top it off with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Seal that in and cap those tips and get it ready for some stamping. Because I am ready to stamp. The Stampaholic is in the room. And we're going to get another visit from Woody. Looky there. Howdy, Woody. So there we go. See if you can see those little glimmery. Oh, goodness. I'm going to use the You Are Beautiful 11 plate today and the Nicole Diary NS01. It's the white stamping polish. I'll be using my rectangular stamper and my clear jelly scraper. I am also going to be using some of that um, yellow stopper as a sticky base because this polish is dry dry. I'm going to use this image over in the corner on most of my nails. I am going to do accents on my thumb and my ring finger, but for my pointer, pointer middle, and pinky, <laughs> I'm going to use this design. It's a little more open. Gonna clean that off with some acetone and do it again. You can see my thumb, it's kind of got more of a full design on it. It covers up a lot of that polish, a lot of that base color. And I'm not really digging that one, so you know what we do. We just wipe it all the way off on the lint roller and do a do over. I'm gonna see about scraping it from another side. Sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. These corner images have always been tricky for me. Um, it's just, I don't know, they're just tricky. Okay, that one turned out pretty good. We're going to go with it. We're going to use it. And using that yellow stopper really is helping. Um, when I did my thumb, it was it, it had not got no yellow stopper on it or no orderly bonder or anything like that, you know, um, so it was having trouble sticking. I'm going to use this image that's right next to the one I was using. And I don't know if that's a flaw in my plate where you can see that extra little hole or if that's the way the design was supposed to be, but I'm going to rock with it. I, it didn't bother me. I just knew that you guys might notice. And there we go. So we're going to clean that off on the lint roller again and go back to that first image for the pinky. For the pinky nail. And I do love these little clear stampers that I got from AliExpress. They're just you know, I mean, I've already kind of messed this one up. It's a little foggy. I think I got some acetone on it, but it's still great. I am going to do my little cleanup trick with the tape and try to get up as much of that as I can. And in fact, I don't even break out my cleanup brush this time. I'm also going to use Ruby Pumps by China Glaze. It is by far one of my very favoriteest polishes. And I'm going to do some dotting in on these stamp designs. I just wanted to add a little bit more something to it. You know, I didn't want to do gems. I just figured if I dotted, I could do that on all the nails. And I love Ruby Pumps. It's just such a pretty, pretty, pretty polish. And I am just going kind of crazy on it. But in the end, I think that I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> Maybe one more over here. Yeah. 
And I just really, I don't know if I was feeling just like I'm in a red, white, and blue kind of mood. I mean, it's not a holiday. It's not 4th of July and nothing like that. I just, I just was feeling it. And I know sometimes I, I get in moods for things that aren't, you know, seasonal or, or whatever. I just, I just want to see it. I want to do it. And this was it. This is what I was feeling and wanting to do today. So I hope you like it. For sure, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Because you guys know I love chatting with y'all in the comments. I know sometimes I get a little behind on it. During the week, things are a little, you know, crazy because I got work and dinner and, you know, chores and other stuff I have to do. So sometimes I don't get around to getting to comments every day, but I always try to get to the comments, even if it takes me a couple of days to do it. You see that ruby punch just gleaming light catches it and it's just just like Dorothy's shoes I just love it Ruby pumps is fantastic it's been a while since I've gushed over her so we're, we're just gonna do it today so there we go I'm gonna use this bundle monster smudge free top coat I bought it months ago and forgot I even had it and I'm happy to report that it is very much smudge free it holds up to what it says um, it kind of stinks, but you know, all nail polish does. It's nothing unusual or terrible. And there's Woody again. I'm giving him a workout today. Um, but I really did like it. And but you know, I'm one of those people. If I use a special top coat or anything, I'm still gonna top over it with my posh or sush feet or something else. Girl on the run, just because that's how I am. Not only that, with those dots, I figured another top coat would smooth it out. I won't be showing y'all that part today. I'm just showing you the smudge-free end of it. There we go. That's perfect. I mean, I just love it. I love that it does not smudge. can't believe it's been sitting in the drawer for two months. And here we go. Here comes Woody. I can tell. See, I just know when he's coming, I can feel his presence. There he is, doing his job. He's such a good, good worker. And here we go with this last nail. I'm gonna seal this design in so that we can call it ta-da! Ta-da! I am really happy I got this top coat. You guys know I got a bucket full of top coats, but this one's really worth it, I think. So there we go. I hope you'd enjoyed this one. I uh, really appreciate you dropping by and watching. So that is it for today. Here's my swatch photo. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.